Okay, this is going to be a real quick example of how to make a published on date and an unpublished date with the new scheduled updates module in D8. So let's look at what we're going to make. This is a content type where we have the published date and the unpublished date. So if we have a content type that's unpublished by default, we can click this, choose our date, and optionally also if we want an unpublished date, we can click this, choose our date, and save this. So let's see how that's made. On a new site without that, let's add that to the article content type. We'll go to Manage Fields, click Add Update Field, and select the field we want to update. In this case, it's going to be Publish Status. And we want to provide a default value of On, and we want to hide this because we don't want the user to choose the checkbox of Published or Unpublished. We're going to leave it just on Article and we're going to make the label publish date set the limit to one so you can only add one update at a time save and now we see we have a published date field here so let's add an article now and we can see here at the bottom we have a published date we can use manage fields to move this um, up to the top or leave it at the bottom how we want it. So the same way we would go back to the manage fields for article and add another update field and again we're going to target the publish status and this time the default value will be not published and again we're going to hide this so now we have to choose which field. We are going to create a new field instead of reuse our old field. And we're going to call this the unpublish date. And again, only one update per node. And we can see here at the bottom now we have a published date and an unpublished date. If we go back to content and hit add content for our article, we can see now that we can add an unpublished date and or add a published date and an unpublished date. Now let's look at the same example except this time we're using the workbench moderation module. You can see at the bottom here when we save, we save it to a particular state, in this case draft or transition it to needs review. And again similarly we just have a published date which we can choose and then a archive date. In this case this is a particular transition to archive that we would schedule. So let's see how we would set that up. So we now have a content type called moderated content which is already set up to use workbench moderation. We go to manage fields and click add update field and this time instead of choosing publish we choose the moderation state field which workbench moderation provides and we want to choose the moderation state published and we're going to hide this and we are going to use a new field let's call it moderate publish and again only one value and instead of going back to show the add form let's just right away add the archive one we're going to add update field and we're again going to target the moderation state but this time we're going to have the default value of archived and we're going to hide that field from the user and we are going to have a new field again and we're going to call this archive date and again set it to one value and save so now when we go to add content of moderated content we have the archive date and the moderate publish. So I probably want to change this label, but you get the idea.